Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about getting COVID with my daughter. She's seven. <clears throat> so I was just gonna kind of talk about um, like the symptoms and how I felt and how long it took. So first off, it started, uh, what day is it today? I don't even know. It's been like 11 days or 12 days, I think. And I still feel, I still feel it. So anyway, so the first day with Maya, so she's seven. So the first day with Maya, she threw up in the middle of the night and I figured that it was just because of the salmon that I had cooked. I was like, oh God, she doesn't like my food or something, but no one else was sick, so it was just her. So she threw up and then she was totally fine. And then the next day and the day after that, she was stuffy. Um, one night I gave her Motrin because she had like a tiny, tiny mild fever. So I gave her Motrin and it went away. I only gave it to her that one time and then it was gone. I didn't have to do it ever again. So then two days after that, she was like completely 100% back to her normal self. But for the, maybe it's been like 12 days. I think it's been 12 days for me and I still kind of feel stuffy. I still feel like my head like has like a lingering headache, but um, I never had a fever. I just had like the first day I had really bad sneezing and no coughing really, just like crazy sneezing and stuffy. And then the day two, I had like a killer pounding headache all day, bad, bad pounding, pounding headache. And then after that, every single day I had a lingering headache, but nothing like unbearable, but it was like annoying. And I still like at night still, I still feel kind of like headachey and stuffy and just like really annoying more than anything else. And then, um, oh yeah, I, I kind of, at first I thought that I just had a cold and then like the fourth day I would say I was like hmm I can't really taste this and I like honestly couldn't smell anything so that's when I got tested and I came back positive so now it's been the oh and it's super weird because my boyfriend never got it so me and Maya both got it and then he got tested he was negative so from that point forward I've just been sleeping with Maya and then he's been sleeping on the couch poor guy so uh, he hasn't caught it we all just got tested again yesterday but I don't know if um if I'm negative yet, or maybe he caught it, I don't know. We will see when we get the results. I think that we'll get them later tonight or tomorrow. But so far, um, hopefully I'm negative now. But that's about it. It wasn't as crazy as I thought it would be. Like it wasn't enjoyable and the first week sucked. I'm just super stuffy, sneezing constantly. Um, my boyfriend doesn't want me to touch him, so that's the worst part. But <laughs> at least me and Maya both had it so I could snuggle her. And that was it, so it wasn't bad for kid, like my kid at all, it was perfectly fine for her. I'd rather me be a sick one than her, so she really was fine. And then I'm getting better as, you, I think I still sound kind of stuffy and like a little bit congested, but I feel a million times better. It's just like a super, super long um, sickness that's very annoying. But yeah, the first, first five days I'd say like sucked, but nothing deadly for me, thank God but it just was like um, uncomfortable and annoying and not being able to breathe or taste or, you know, all that stuff. So, Maya, come here. Ah. Come here, my love, my love child. Come sit on my lap, come sit on my lap. Do you have COVID? I don't know. Probably not anymore. Do you want to talk about how you felt when you had it? Did you feel awful? Did you throw up in, in your bed? Yes. Did you throw up in all your bed and I had to clean all your sheets? Yeah, and I had to clean Yeah, you did. And then the next day, Chloe threw up in the sheets? Yeah. So maybe dogs can get COVID too, but everyone was puking, let me tell you. Okay. At least we all have the most- Did you puke in the bed? Now we have super, super duper clean sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's been washed and clean. So talk about it, Maya. Were you stuffy? You were stuffy the first couple days, right? Yeah. After you threw up, did you feel totally fine? No. What? Yes, you did. The first time you threw up, you said you felt that you were like dancing oh, while yeah. I was washing sheets. <laughs> yeah. At in the morning. Super. And then what happened? The next day, what happened after that? You got a little fever, right? Yeah. The next day. And then we gave you Motrin. But you were like pretty much fine, right? You're I like, I'm bored. I don't think I'm allergic to mushrooms because it didn't give me a rash. No, you're not allergic to mushrooms. 
Robitussin. I don't think I'm going to do it. Okay. No, I don't think you did. But okay, so then you you. I had... need to go pee. Wait, Maya, get back here. Get back here. <laughs> I need to go pee. So wait, we're almost done. I'm turning it off, and then you're gonna be out of here. So just tell me one more thing. So then the next day you were super stuffy. Mm -hmm. But was it awful? Like. No. You just you felt pretty fine. No. Like a little cold. No. Okay, fall. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>